On today's episode of Amanda Felix Eats, we'll be meeting up with some special friends to check out one of Hawaii's largest farmers market. And we're super excited to take you guys along because there are so many vendors here, so many local vendors to support. Thumbs up from me. It's like a flavor bomb in your mouth, like a party in your mouth. We can't wait to show you guys around. Let's get going. Let's go. What's going on foodie ohana welcome back to the channel and if you're new here i'm felix that's amanda and we're a local foodie couple here on oahu and we take you guys on all of our foodie adventures and for today's video we have a very special one we're visiting the kakaako's farmers market here in kakaako and we're super excited to be taking you guys along this is actually a revisit it's been two years and we have some special guests they will be here shortly so you don't want to miss that and we're here early because there are some special vendors that have long lines and long waits so we're here early to secure the goods so let's get into today's video Right, Foodie Ohana, it is bright and early. We are here at Kaka'ako's Farmer's Market, or not quite yet here, we're heading there right now. Check out some new awesome vendors. And guys, there's some vendors here that we cannot wait to try. The real reason why we're here early is because there's a bakery here that only opens here and one other day and we got to stand in line early what based on what i've heard they have a long line before the farmer's market opens so we're here early before the farmer's market opens so we can secure the goods i see a line already forming so let's head on over yeah let's go We have special guests today on our channel. This is Tavi Eats. We have Satoshi and Shinichi. Hey guys. Hello. So we are Tavi Eats. We make uh, food and travel videos in Japan. Of course, we also make videos whenever we travel abroad. Make sure to come over and check us out. So we did film a video yesterday on their channel at Kakako Salt. So you don't want to miss that one. Make sure you guys check the description. I'll have it linked down below. Trust yeah. us guys, it's an awesome one. Check it out. Yeah, so we're gonna walk around the farmer's market and get some food. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Finally made it close to the front with like two people in line to the front. So it was like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. The patients look amazing. Cannot wait to show you guys. And we are dividing and conquering. So Shinichi and Satoshi, which you guys just saw, they are standing in line for green juice. Which is a, also another popular vendor here. So yeah. we're super excited. Thank you again, Shinichi Satoshi, <laughs> for waiting in line as, as well. We went a little bit overboard, Furiohana. <laughs> Me and Shinichi are gonna try our first stop, which is Oma'o. Oma'o just means green in Hawaiian, but they only have one flavor and it is popular. The lines were crazy. So Toshi had to wait in line while we were waiting in line for the pastries. You know, divide and conquer, like Amanda said. Pretty excited to try. I believe you guys had this already. Yes, exactly. Uh, we came uh, last week and it was pretty amazing. We actually waited a longer line than today. Really? Yeah. So a good thing that we came early today. Oh. I think you're gonna like this. Okay, yeah. can't wait to try. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Just as good as last oh. week. Wait, wait, what do you think? It's so refreshing. I can mm. imagine drinking this every morning to start my day off right. Yeah. Wow. I like it because it's not very sweet. Maybe because there's no sugar in it. It's all organic. It really tastes like a delicious salad, but not too grassy you can taste the fruits in here definitely taste the citrusy notes to the mm. green smoothie because to be honest i was a little apprehensive really? because i saw a lot of the ingredients were kale and all the other super greens and i don't normally eat too much vegetables is that right? oh. <laughs> this is like the perfect way for me to get some vegetables in okay. it's really refreshing really right. good okay i gotta remember that he doesn't particularly like vegetables <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah we're off to a great start this is definitely going to energize us for the rest of the food marathon we're gonna have today. Yeah, let's do it. Guys, I'm so excited to try this. You guys know how much I love my salad. So salad in a cup. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> I love salad too. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
This one is very thick mm -hmm. and natural sweetness came mm -hmm. from banana or something yeah. like that. Very mm. banana y. I can enjoy the other green vegetables too. Mm -hmm. Feel the very refreshing and become very healthy. <laughs> yeah, and it's hot today, guys. We mm. needed this. <laughs> We mm. needed this. Definitely, definitely. It's a very good breakfast for me. Mm. But we have a lot more food to eat today, guys. <laughs> Look the kara kara at that. vanilla pastry. Yes. Or something like that. So mm. me and Shinichi saw this and really wanted to try. Of course, it has the toasted marshmallows yes. on there. Oh, it's so wow. pretty. Right. And this bakery called Wallflower? Yes. Yeah. Do they actually have a physical bakery? They don't. They, they only don't. do pop-ups. So that's why the line was so long. We got here at like 7.30 to stand in line. Wow. But amazing. Okay. It looks so gorgeous. This makes it more special then. Yes. Itadakimasu. Mm. 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 Not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. mm. The citrus note right away. Mm -hmm. And there's custard on the inside. I, w I wonder why it's got kara kara. What does kara kara mean, I wonder? No idea. Mm. <laughs> what language? This is called kara kara vanilla something. The prettiest one, I think. And the bread is pretty uh, soft and moist. Mm -hmm. It's not too dry. The custard has a slight t um, tartness as well. No, oh, I could just finish this whole thing. Me too. I know. Save me some. I know. <laughs> Save me and Satoshi some. Mm. Kind of makes you forget, right? There's other people around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who are they again? <laughs> <laughs> but we do have a donut that we have to try as well. All right, guys. So this is their special donut flavor of the month. Mm. It is jasmine milk tea donut. It's similar to like a filled malasada with sugar around it. Excited to try this one. Okay, cheers. cheers. Mmm. Mm. Is that um, tea? Mm -hmm. Some kind of tea. Jasmine tea. Jasmine tea. Oh, wow. Super aromatic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Really, really nice. I've never had like jasmine cream in malasada before. Yeah, it's very floral and fragrant. It's mm. kind of weird though to me. I feel like I should be eating dim sum with this. <laughs> mm, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. But somehow it works. Also, kind of reminds me of like boba, like mm. boba tea. And the malasada itself is very, very fluffy and a little bit crispy surface. So it's a perfect malasada. They always have like a new flavor, right? Mm. Yeah. Boishi. Wow. Mm. This is dangerous. I like wallflower. Yeah. Wallflower. Guys, there's even more. We got more things. So. Hold on, we're gonna switch. All right, so it's finally me and Satoshi's turn. I mean, Yay. that was brutal watching them eat and enjoying everything. <laughs> we're suffering over there. But anyway, it's our turn now, and we're gonna be trying the mango sticky rice cake and the lily koi tart or passion fruit tart. So, both are my favorite thing. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Which one do you wanna try first? Mango, please. Mango, let's do it. Mm. Ooh. That's very nice texture. It's like a mango pudding. I did not expect it to be so jiggly. It's like a custard pudding or flan. Yes. The lower side, bottom oh, side look. is rice kernels. Shall we try? Let's Cheers. try. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Oh my I'm goodness, that's amazing. Again. This mango flavor is amazing, and this rice kernel's texture is also really fun for me. It's, it's almost like um like rice porridge yeah, texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm. very smooth, very mm. creamy. It matches with this mango flavor. Wow, nice. The harmony is excellent. We, sh we should take more bites. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the mango is not overly powering either. Like sour mango flavor is very sweet, very subtle. Yes. The topping looks like they just baked it enough where it has like a brulee almost like flavor at the very top of the cake. The caramelized flavor is the accent. Mm. Mm. And totally it has a good balance. It's so nice. Let's try the lily koi tart. Lily koi tart. Lily koi is other one my favorite fruit. Ooh, this one looks like it has the same toasted marshmallow fluff on the top. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, is that a chocolate crust? Mm. Oh. The tartness of this is 
ワンダフォー。あ、じゃ、テクスチャー、え、ない、サクサクっと、ダボトムパーツ、タルトパーツ、サクサクっと、ベリーファン。あ、じゃ、トップ、メレンゲ、トースでメレンゲ、イズグ。The lily c o r is more like a, almost like a lily c o r custard, but softer, very smooth, and then you get the bottom cookie crust, and I believe that's Nutella. It's not chocolate. It's, I think it might be Nutella flavored on、um, sauce. It's not chocolate, so it's a very interesting combination of lily c o r tartness. Creaminess of that spread and the cookie crust. Oh, that one is really good. Should we save any for them? or? Oh,、no? well, we have to eat all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <laughs> But I was working hard. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs>、mm. Oh, goodness. Mm. Oh, oh. oh, I like that. No one even got the bottom.、Oh. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. Liliko is something we don't have in Japan, so this is、mm. so special. It has kind of a salty, like burnt element to it. I don't know.、Mm. What is that? The bottom of the tart is also interesting. It's like a cookie or cookie crust bar. Yeah. Something very crispy. Thumbs up from me. Yeah, wallflower guys. They're very, very popular, so. I'll leave everything down in the description, but we're gonna be getting more food. We got our dessert first, actually. We just had to, we couldn't resist it. So, we're gonna get more food and show you guys around some more. Alright, Furiohana. So, the last time we did come to Kakako's Farmer's Market, there wasn't a second side. Now they have another additional side right across the way. And we're here now. We're gonna get some savory things to eat because you know I love my savory foods. So, let's get going because it looks like there's a lot more vendors to check out. Eat the salsa. <laughs> As we mentioned earlier, we're on the other side of the farmer's market, the separate section of the farmer's market. And we started off with Kamuela tomatoes, locally homegrown by Garen himself. And these are amazing. And shout outs again to Reed for recommending us to try this place. He even makes his own wonton chips, or I believe it's wonton chips. It looks like, it looks like wonton. But the star of the show is the tomatoes, so we cannot wait to try the tomatoes. And these chips are huge, massive. Wow. Okay. And as soon as I open this up, you can smell the garlic, you can smell、mm. all the spices in here. Like I said, Furio Hana chips and salsa, one of my favorite addicting snacks. <laughs> all right, let's okay, do it. Cheers. cheers. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Wow. So fresh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That crunch is amazing. It's、mm -hmm. earth shattering crunch. Oh, wow. It's so light, too. It is. Despite it being in this、um, deliciously oily bag, <laughs> it is super light. Yeah, it doesn't taste oily at all. And the salsa, it's, it's like literally like a garden. It's like a fresh garden of vegetables with、it's、nothing、so、unnecessary added.、Mm. The freshest. Oh,、Go、chip down. <laughs> It's a good thing we got a whole bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, going back to the salsa, they have two different types. They have spicy and mild. I'm so glad we got the spicy. Definitely, definitely. And it's not overly spicy either.、Uh, so, you said、mm. you love salsa.、Mm, mm. Yeah, would you say this is one of the best salsas you've had? I say top three. Top three? It's, it's up there. Yeah. yeah. As far as freshness goes, this is probably the freshest salsa we've had.、Mm. And the tomatoes, it has a slight sweetness to it too. Yeah. It goes really well with the spice and the onions. Like、yeah. you mentioned, the garlic, cilantro too in there. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take another. Yeah. And that's. <laughs> This thing's almost as big as my head. <laughs> yeah. The salsa is probably really good because of the tomatoes themselves, huh? The Camuela tomatoes.、Ooh. And these chips are perfect for scooping the salsa. These chips are so. Flaky and delicate, it's gonna, it's gonna shatter and、yeah, spill. I was just gonna ask you, how do you eat it? How do you eat this? Because I keep dropping things on the grass.、Oh. Mm. I think I need a beer now.、Mm. <laughs> exactly. Autumn. So, tomato lovers, right over here. <laughs> I love tomato. I love tomato. Really love tomato. There you go. Thank you. The huge chip. Oh, wow. Wow. It's so crispy. 
Mm. Oh wow, you can Ooh. see all the ingredients. Beautiful tomato salsa. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Wow. Fabulous tomato flavor. Mm. Nice sourness and the spiciness. Mm. Good. It's really fresh and the texture is so saksakuto. Saksakuto means crispy. It matches perfectly with this chip. Yeah. What is this? This is. This salsa sauce cuts the, the oil of this chip and it has the umami. Fresh tortillas. Fresh oh, tortilla. Chips made from fresh tortilla. And this salsa, it's a little bit different. I taste sage in here, which is not usually something that is used in salsa. Mm. Mm. And the best part is there's not that much onion because I don't really like raw onions, but it gives it a nice bite. And the herbs are very fresh, tomatoes are very fresh. It's not too acidic as well, which is great for us. And Satoshi loves tomatoes so much, he wants to eat this one. Just straight up, just bite into it like an apple. I love a tomato. Mm. Mm. So fresh. Mm. Sounds very juicy. Mm. The texture of the outside part. It's really nice, thick, good, good tomato texture, and inside the juice is also nice. Very comfortable tanginess and sweetness. Oh, and guys, also I want to mention that the tomatoes were so shiny, which means you can tell the tomato man or Garen <laughs> is his name, but he takes really good care of his tomatoes. Okay, thank you, you too. So this is Pupu Grills or Crispy Musubi here at Kakako's Farmer's Market. They are making grilled musubis or yaki onigiri. They're pretty much making it similar to how Japanese would make it authentically, but they put a Hawaiian twist on it and they're all made in Hawaii. Shinichi and Satoshi actually taught me something today about what koji is, because mm -hmm. I had no idea what that was. Yes, yes, koji is used commonly in cooking in Japan. Koji is also the ingredient that's to make sake, miso, uh, show you all these fermented ingredients that we use so much in Japan. Uh, koji also has a lot of health benefits, so it's really, really healthy, and it adds lots of umami in your cooking. And so this is healthy, lots of umami, and can't wait to try it out. Yes. They use special so soy sauce using the koji. Mm -hmm. Right, and the koji soy sauce is already sold out. That's how popular they are, so. Mm. And even when they make the rice, they said that they put that koji in the rice they when do. they make it. They so. do, right. And this one is the original. There's a, a piece of nori seaweed on the top, and there's a little bit more of that koji on the top as well. Oh. Dewa! Let's, Let's try. try. Oh, it's so crispy. Super crispy. Mm. Wow. I see this is kind of like a onigiri pancake almost. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells like yaki onigiri. Mm -hmm. Japanese yaki onigiri. Right, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm. 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 Yaki onigiri. I understand why they are using koji. It has not just a soy sauce flavor. It has umami, so much umami, special soy sauce flavor. It's like a umami. It's similar to the sweetness, but it's not sugary sweetness. Mm -hmm. Good, good flavor. Yeah, I can taste the koji too. Let's try just the koji on the top of the nori. That way, Amanda, you'll see what the koji tastes like. Koji show you. Mm. You see, it's, it's a little bit uh, like a fermented flavor. Mm -hmm. So you can see how that would add flavor to uh, mm -hmm. different dishes. It's very flavorful and it does have a nice savoriness to it and mm -hmm. a little bit of like a, not a tang, but kind of tangy. Yeah, kind of yeah. tangy, yeah. yeah. It was perfect. Mm. I love the sauce. Me too, yeah. I like mm -hmm. it, it's not heavy too. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is sticking to my teeth though. <laughs> <laughs> Food Yohana, so we'll be trying one of their signature concoctions, the cheese onigiri. And man, I'll admit my mouth was watering when I saw these bad boys getting grilled on top of that huge 
wok. That looks amazing. So let's go ahead and give it a try. It looks like their signature koji, show you on top, provolone cheese, and some kewpie. A little more yeah. difficult than I thought to, yeah. <laughs> to get to. Oh, but I can still hear the crispiness. Yeah, there's yeah. cheese on oh both sides. So. Sorry, it's so messy yeah. now. Oh. Yes, Shinichi is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> no joke, Furihan. This is like a workout, like an exercise. Yeah. <laughs> to, uh, do your uh, onigiri finger exercises every morning. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Yep. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh. Mm. That is cheesy. Really cheesy. That's like a rice pizza almost. I was gonna say almost a little too overpowering. I, I can't really appreciate the koji sauce. The koji. The shoji, yeah. Combination of umami and umami. Koji umami, cheese umami. Mm. Both are fermented food. Mm. So it's a double fermented double umami. Yeah, that that's actually the the pure koji show you. As um Shinichi was mentioning, I tried just a little bit of the pure um koji mm. just to Give it a try because I didn't try the original one earlier. It is very umami. Yeah, yeah. Very savory on the palate. Without it being overly salty like pure soy sauce. Right. Yeah. I was going to say it wasn't too salty. The cheese makes it salty, but the koji itself, mm -hmm. is, it's not salty. Yeah. I actually like the, the cheese one too. Mm, me too. Because yeah, we too. had the original one mm -hmm. and the cheese one. Mm -hmm. They're very different. This one's a lot richer, cheesier, of course. Mm -hmm. They also have a shiso ume, Hawaiian barbecue, and lokomoko. Right. They yeah. said their most popular one is the shiso. Shiso. Oh, which shiso. she was actually really surprised that local people like shiso. Yeah. Not many people know what um, shiso is. That's shiso, what. right? Perella leaves. Yeah. yeah, definitely a winner. I'm, I'm definitely getting one of those koji bottles to pour over everything. And it's healthier too, it's right? Healthier. Than traditional shoyu. Yeah. So exactly. There you exactly. go, Furio Hana. Mm. All the flavor without the guilt. We're heading back over to the other side now for some more awesome grinds because there are a few more places we wanted to try and it's located back on the original side. So let's go check them out. Because we're not full yet. We got a lot more room to go, I think. Yeah, and we gained another friend. Oh, yeah, look, it's photo loop. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so next place is Yupo noodles and we got the duck noodles with the noodles that are thick and wide, kind of like chow fun noodles. And I see uh, green onions, of course you see a lot of duck in here, as well as some other vegetables and the sauce actually looks quite spicy. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, look at that. Oh, look mm. at that. You see all oh, oh, that sauce. Oh, so that looks so good. This noodle is extra wide. Yeah, okay. So let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it together. Um, oh, oh, oh. oh. So bouncy. Oh. Let's Mm. Pretty spicy. Mm, definitely has a kick. But it's very nice. sweaty. Flavorful. Very flavorful. Mm. Also a little bit tangy. I'm not yeah. sure what kind of flavors or spices mm. they use, but it's a little bit sour. Soy mm. sauce. But at the same time, I taste a shrimp. I'm gonna try some of the duck, duck as noodle. well. So you got like um, shredded duck meat in here. Kind of looks like Kalua pork to me. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's super, super flavorful. Very tender duck meat. He doesn't really eat too much duck. I think you had duck maybe once or twice in your life. Not oily at all. Not oily at all. This green onion, or mm. vegetables, and this duck flavor mm. combines really nicely. I like duck. You like duck? Mm. Good. Mm. Good. I'm but so happy. <laughs> this spiciness mm. is really good for me. Yeah. It's very hot today. Yeah. In hot summer day, spicy food is really yeah. helpful. Yeah, I actually mm. felt like I was going to faint for a moment there, but this spicy mm. uh, noodle is actually kind of waking me up and mm. probably acting like some kind of medicine, I think. Ne. Mm. Oishi. Oishi. We're trying not to be wasteful here on Amanda Felix's and we just got whatever utensils was available in our bag. So we got sporks. <laughs> it still works. Oh, look at this noodle. It's so beautiful. It's like those ribbon pasta noodles. 
or like Shinichi said, look fun or chow fun, I mean. You know what they say, long noodle, long life. We're all about longevity here. Cheers. Mmm. That bounce, wow. My taste buds are bouncing. That's what's bouncing. Szechuan pepper, right away, it kicks. Yep. So if you, if you um, guys haven't had Szechuan pepper yet, Fudo Hanam, it's a little bit more of a numbing sensation versus a burning in your mouth kind of chilies. You get the flavors of chili though. And that sourness, I think that's the mustard greens. And the vinegar. I think I saw on the menu it said black vinegar, which is a staple in Chinese cooking. And also I want to mention that they have pickled cabbage, like the, the standard Chinese pickled cabbage. And also, if you saw in the B-roll, they were hand pulling the noodles right on site. before. Yeah, yeah right, on site. Yeah, right before they put it into the boiling water, they actually hand pulled the noodles and it was super fresh. And you can really taste the freshness in this dish. Look at all the sauce that recesses on the bottom. I think the best bet is to stir it up and get all the sauces reintroduced to the noodles. That way when you pull all that beautiful sauce on the noodles, and our next stop is called Little Sparrow. They're known for their spetzel noodles or German noodles. Interestingly enough, they are egg noodles. I did not know that. The friendly lady was telling us that it was German, German egg drop noodles that they eat as a base in Germany. So I guess for us, it's white rice with local plate lunch. For them, it's spetzel. So this one here is not a traditional spetzel, but they actually added some mushroom and truffles and it just smells amazing and we've heard so many good things about this spot so we're super excited to try it out this will be our first time yeah first time so we're pretty excited our first german food so the way they prepare spetzel is very simple they just egg drop the noodles in the hot wok and they is it a wok no it's just a hot pan hot pan and they saute it. yeah saute it in butter that's it very simple Cheers. give it that nice crispy texture oh man Mmm, wow. that's a flavor bomb. Mm. Boy, is that flavorful. The sharpness of the cheese. There's a nice balance of flavors. I taste something a little bit tart and creamy. And the garlic aioli. Very balanced. And even though it sounds really, really heavy, I honestly anticipated it to be super heavy, but it actually isn't. The noodles are very al dente and bouncy as well. The spork definitely comes in handy for this one. You have to try this one. It's amazing. Oh, you can't forget the hits of lemon. I taste lemon in yeah, there. Yeah, that's what I said. Something oh, in did? there is like tart. Oh, I guess that's the lemon. Oh man. Tabi Eats really gotta try this. Yeah, out. you guys gotta try this. A spetzel. Spetzel. By the way, it's <laughs> eating spetzel. You've never you never have, yeah. Probably random information, but I actually used to work for Hawaiian Airlines as a flight attendant way back in the day when they had the Philadelphia base and we used to fly to Germany. And that's the first time I had spetzel. But I only had it the buttered original way. And I've always been telling you about spetzel, so yeah, kind of looking forward to this. Oh, oh, so you get all the ingredients here: spetzel with the cheese, mushrooms, some green vegetables here. Oh, tabio, tabio, king, takimasu. Mmm, 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 oishi. Mmm. Super cheesy and this is like a flavor bomb in your mouth. Like a party in your mouth. You got the cheese, you got the truffle. Take a shot. Is seen it out to a pasta thing and Chinese noodles also like oh. that. Yeah. And cheesy. Truffle? Truffle. 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 Definitely mm. gets truffle. Mm. And I like the surface of the spencil, you know, because they pan fry it. I remember in German, I think they simply boiled it. So I didn't get that um that grill surface of the spetzel. So I think that adds a lot to the flavor. We see it. Oh. Mmm. Definitely mm. thumbs up from us. Mm. And because we did start off with the dessert segment today, we do have a little more, something of a treat to round up the day with. And we got butter mochi from a local company called Lanikai Mochi. 
and I've actually heard a lot of great things about this place so I'm super excited to try it out and this is the mac nut flavor and wow you can actually see huge pieces of macadamia nuts right in there very generous with the macadamia nuts and it seems like their ingredients are very very simple they're not overly complicated or anything like that so I'm super excited to try it out and you guys know that I am horrible at making butter mochi so I'm anticipating this to be very good compared to the one I usually make. So am I. Trust, believe me. <laughs> this one is actually bouncy. <laughs> Salt on the wound. Okay, cheers. Mm. Mm, wow. Mm -hmm. So much better than the one I make. <laughs> Phenomenal. You really gotta try the worst to appreciate something like this. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that was the last one. That was the last one. And I like that it's in small bites because you get the corner. So no more fighting for corner pieces because each one is a corner piece. Very buttery, very chewy. I love the huge, generous portions of macadamia nut. Add that nutty flavor to the butter mochi. It's not too sweet, too. No. So I'm going to try their most popular flavor, which is the azuki bean flavor. We both love butter mochi. Love, love, love. We actually have butter mochi in Japan, but it's a completely different, different. type of mochi. Yeah, right. yeah. Japanese butter mochi is close to mochi. Close to mochi. Mm -hmm. The specialty of Akita Prefecture, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Combination of butter, egg yolk, and mochi. Sugar. Right. But first time you try butter mochi in Hawaii, you immediately fell in love with it. And so now we get to try one from Lanikai Mochi. So this one is Ooh, the azuki. azuki. I can see the azuki oh, bean. Look at that. Oh, that's a oh, lot man. of azuki oh, bean in so here. Good. What? I've never seen so much filling in butter mochi. Actually, mm -hmm. we've never seen any filled butter mochi before. Like imagawa yaki. Imagawa yaki. Yeah. And, and you can see the texture when you pull it apart. You know, that sticky mochi texture. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, nice bouncy texture and just like sweetness and the sweetness with azuki beans combination with this azuki beans is so good. Mm. It's actually mm. unlike any butter mochi I've had before mm. just because there's so much azuki beans on the inside and it's not too sweet, mm. which I like. Mm. It's almost like wagashi, Japanese wagashi sweets. And you can enjoy the texture of azuki beans so nicely because it's almost a whole azuki beans, no? Not so smooth and not so much too. So you can enjoy the texture. Definitely recommend trying the azuki beans if you like azuki. All right, Foodie Ohana, that about wraps up today's epic farmer's market video with our new friends, Tavi Eats. Shinichi Satoshi, thank you again so much for coming along with us. Thank you so thank you much. So thank you guys much. for collaborating with us. Yes. We had a really, really good time. Oh, That's awesome. We're you. so glad you did. <laughs> we wouldn't have been able to try all these delicious grinds without you guys. So thank you again for coming yes. and joining us today. Thanks, guys. Thank and make sure you guys check out their video we did at Kaka Aqua Salt. I'll leave it linked down in the description and up here in the card. And again, thank you guys so much for coming along on today's foodie adventure. We had such an awesome time. If you like this type of content, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to Amanda and Felix and Tavi Eats. And we see you guys on the next video. Bye, right, Foodie Hana. Until the next one, explore your inner foodie. Take it easy. Peace Hi out. Guys. We're visiting the K KCC. <laughs> Press record. <laughs> no, we just do the waving part again. Sure, sure. Okay. No, seriously, it was dangerous. I almost kind of finished it. <laughs> <laughs> but I think though. No. Hey, so good. And the best part is there's not that much tomatoes. I mean, what? Atashi <laughs> manaka. <laughs> Mm. Oh. This side we're at. Oh, well, I, did we talk about that? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have the worst chopstick skills ever. Oh, really? Yeah. It's a good thing I did this one and not you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, was, all right. Egg drop noodles that they east. They east. <laughs> Yeast with water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst. <laughs> anyway. So we're gonna try. Oh, very tiny. Is that okay? Yeah, I think Yay. 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 Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah.